Justin Steele making his first appearance since the end of May. He's been out with just a minor forearm problem. Thankfully, it was nothing serious, and he only missed a couple of starts. And he's ready to go against these Orioles today. Here comes the pitch to James McCann. Broken bat, and on a hop. Oh, boy, Nico Horner, long throw. And Bellinger not able to field it cleanly, and down goes McCann. Nico kind of had to wind up, and the throw was off target. McCann uh, does not have speed, so he figures, I got a shot here. Um, Really ugly the way McCann went into first base. Hopefully he's okay. So yeah, he went in hard to the bag with that front foot. Austin Hayes struck out to start the game. He hits a bouncing ball foul toward third. Nice play, Willie. You know somebody saying something. It's Willie Harris, cool and calm. Got this. I got this, fellas. You're good. It's Kyle Gibson. He will not overpower you. You see, he's got a diverse mix of pitches. Fastball, change slider, cutter, curve. And that one gets away. Long throw and Gomes beats it out. So a strikeout, but on the wild pitch, Gomes is safe. Cubs have not been able to do anything offensively. Maybe they'll make something out of this start here. Miles Mastroboni tap back to the mound. Gibson goes to second, gets rid of it quickly. Mastroboni runs well, safe at first. So two outs man at first, and Mike Tuckman will come up to him. Pitch to Tuckman is low. That's ball four. The inning should be over, but the strikeout and the wild pitch has allowed the inning to keep on going. And now the Cubs have two men on, and let's see if Nico can drive in a run. Drilled out towards left center, and that one finds space. It'll touch down and bang up against the bottom of the basket. Mastroboni and Tuckman on his heels. It's a two run double for Nico, and the Cubs have the lead. Now since the Cubs have come off the road, they've been swinging the bats, and the crowds have been loving it. Just needs one more out here to qualify for a win, and from a pitcher's standpoint, you love to get that W next to your name. Ground yeah. ball, there's a lot of room in that right side. Hayes finds it, and the Orioles get a two out hit. And that's how you're under the form of Adley Rutschman. You could do worse. One, two, that is driven well. Left field, is it high enough? It is, and it's long enough, too. The Orioles tie up the game on the home run by Adley Rutschman as they finally get to steal in the fifth inning. Oh, that'll do. Oh, that'll do. Yeah, well, it'll definitely work. Adley Rutschman is 10th of the year, and it's 2-2. As Gomes waits, Gibson has been pretty good today. Yeah, he is using all of his pitches. He has command with that fastball to both sides of the plate. Gomes gets on top of that one, drills it left center field. That'll roll. Jan racing for second, and he's got himself a double. Good start to the bottom of the fifth for the Cubs. Well, it's Master Boney up here as he was shortening to bunt. Bunny towards third. It's a good one. Gibson up with it. And so now the go ahead run 90 feet away with one out. Infield in, they play Tuckman to pull. In the air, left field, and this should be deep enough. Caught by Hayes, Gomes charges home, and he's in. Tuckman a sack fly, and it is 3 2. Sixth inning, Cubs lead 3 2. Julian Merriweather on the mound takes over for Justin Steele. It is Steele's game to win as he worked five solid innings. Another day, another walk for Aaron Hicks, and he's been on base two out of the three times he's been up. It's Ryan O'Hearn now. O'Hearn in yesterday's game had three hits. And he rips this one into left field. Hit that one with authority the other way. And the Orioles put the tying run in scoring position, and the go-ahead run is now Ryan O'Hearn. Tommy Hotovey, the pitching coach, out to discuss certain things with Julian Merriweather. Perhaps just a little reminder of the scouting report on the next batter, Mateo. What do you think? Yeah, very well could be. Mateo's grounded out to short twice so far in this game. Sky left field. Hap coming on. Ian makes the catch. Inning over. Baltimore does not score. They leave a pair. And the Cubs have a new pitcher. Mark Leiter Jr. will start this seventh inning. Smashed up the middle by Austin Hayes. Give him a multi-hit game. So the last time he was up, 
He got hit number 400 of his career. There's number 401. Here's Adley Rutschman. And this one misses for ball four. Nice work by Adley Rutschman. He got behind one and two and still earns a free pass against Leiter. Santander will come up to hit. And now got him. Santander didn't like it. Umpire's going to give it, exploit it, take advantage. Anderson, a left handed batter, one for two with a walk. Two and two, here comes. On the ground, Horner flags it down, throws him out. And Leiter gets out of it. Mark Leiter Jr. does the job, and the Cubs keep it a one run game. And Adbert Alzali on to try and close this one out. A sparkling ERA of 203. He has not walked people, and the strikeout rate is excellent, well above league average. Swing and a miss. Get him. Frazier is gone. Josh Lester now. He's got legitimate pop. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Back to back strikeouts for Adbert Alzali. Listen to this crowd. Baltimore down to their last chance. Austin Hayes at the plate. 3 2. And Hayes, I don't think, realizes that's ball four. Yeah, I don't think CB did initially either. CB double checking with his, his, his mates to make sure that, that that's ball four, right? It's kind of hard to pick up what he was saying. I think they're going back to New York yeah. to double check. Yeah, it's under review, is what's up on the Jumbotron. After review, the pitch is ball four. Adley Rutschman now is. Yeah, I didn't really want to see him hit again in this game. No. On the ground, this should do it. Horner has it. 